Automatically, three robots from the Red Alliance shooting power cells into the high goal. Blue Alliance, we're going to find Team Thrust not only firing shots off, but they back up in their trench area to pick up another power cell. Drivers now in control of the robots for the next two minutes and 15 seconds. Team 1501 doing what they do best, firing off shots and heading directly to the Blue Alliance loading zone to pick up more power cells. Team 3559, the Thundercats, were in a shoving match with Thunderbots. They now make their way over to the Red Alliance side of the field, not in time to stop fixed gears from firing shots into the high goal for the Red Alliance. 79 red, 48 blue, the score early on in this finals match number two. Blue Alliance needs to catch up to stay in the game. Super duper robotics, still picking up balls and firing them off. They're now making their way over to the red side of the field where we're gonna see Cyber Blue crossing into the rendezvous zone. Team 234 in the red bumpers picking up a power cell. Fixed gears fixing their sights on the target that is the high goal. They fired one shot off, there's one, two, and three. Back and forth, these teams are going across the field, trying to prepare for the asteroids coming in at the end of the match. Which team will be best prepared? Looks like it might be the Red Alliance. Blue still has a shot. They are in this game. 45 seconds left to go in the match. Team 74, 57 out of Purdue Polytech High. They are keeping up. Will it be enough? We are now approaching the end game period. Less than 30 seconds to go in the match. Blue Alliance with the lead, 122 to 92. As two of the Red Alliance robots line up in the rendezvous area, they're lifting their hooks up high. They're going for another triple climb. They're gonna attempt to pull it off. They're lining up. The Blue Alliance still trying to get last minute power cells in the goal. Less than 10 seconds left to go in the match. Very tight score. Red Alliance trying to get all three robots up. Will it be enough? Two seconds on the clock and time expires. Ladies and gentlemen, the results are in. Will it be a tiebreaker or will we have a winner of the 2020 Bloomington District event? Let's find out. It'll be the Red Alliance with the win. They'll take it all, 197 red to 133 blue.